Hey guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. We have HQ25 part three in the game right now. You guys can go and update for yourselves. If you haven't watched my sneak peek video, the biggest thing is this. We can upgrade our weapon lab twice and get a new prototype down. So today we're gonna prioritize upgrading it once and also maybe try to get another boom cannon done. I have 250% resource reward right now. So it's incredibly easy to get loot. We're gonna load up warriors just so we can wipe through some players faster. We just need to defeat players fast to get a ton of loot. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So I am very excited for this update. I talked a lot about how I feel about the update in the sneak peek video, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm overall liking the update, or I, I overall like the update, so there's not really much much else I want to say in this video, but I hope you guys are enjoying the update too. There is, of course, so much that is coming out in this update. Like, there's a ton of defenses that I already need to upgrade, and then on top of it, we're adding some of the most important defenses. Um, new levels for those defenses, rocket launchers and shock launchers, we get new levels of those, which will make a huge difference at the leaderboard. It might not really make a huge difference for me right now, but I would say that they are still better to upgrade than any boom cannon or sniper tower that you have to upgrade. I've never really talked about defense upgrade order for a very long time. Um, here's kind of where I stand on it. I always say upgrade your shock launchers first They should be your first defense you upgrade. They're just crazy good and um, I would consider them the best defense and then after that's done upgrade your boom cannons and rocket launchers and I would probably say prioritize rocket launchers over boom cannons but um, that's kind of where I am sitting. I want to get my Shock launchers upgraded. I want to have maxed out shock launchers, and I also want to get. Oh, dang it! I also want to get maxed out uh, rocket launchers because they'll just look so much cooler. All the defenses right now have a base, like it's this little concrete base. Uh, the shock launchers don't, so I think it'd be cool to have a new base for the shock launchers. And it looks sick as well. So that is why I'm trying to prioritize my uh, uh, shock launcher upgrades. Okay, here is a level 72. Should be pretty easy. That barrage I dropped at the bottom was a mistake. Did not mean to drop that. It's okay though. We'll still be fine. Just keeping my warriors moving, getting them to the core. I have maxed out warriors. We also got a bunch of new troop levels. So, um... I don't remember what troops didn't get a new level. I don't remember if the Bombardiers got a new level in the first update. But this update, we get Scorchers, Mechs, Tanks, and I think one more troop. Maybe it's Cryoneers or something. I think it is Cryoneers. So that would be nice. All of those troops are going to be very expensive to upgrade. If we go and look, uh, yeah, they're all very expensive. And Critters. Critters is actually going to be a lot of fun. Because uh, I'll be able to get 15, I think, down at a time, which is insane. That's so much. And then I'll have to do a Hammerman base builder video and try to see how many critters I can get down on one base. That'll be fun. Okay, but a level 72 doesn't really stand a chance. It's crazy seeing level 72s. I remember when level 64 and level 63 was the maxed level in the game and now we're all the way up at level 72 and players are going to be able to get 73 i believe before this update you could get level 73 i think maybe after this update people will hit level 74 which is insane if you told me a couple years ago that level 74 would be the maxed out level, the new maxed out level, I would have lost it. I would have been so confused, but you know what? I'm happy, I'm loving it, and I can't wait till I'm a higher level. But it is getting incredibly hard for people to keep up. I'll give you guys that. Like For me, upgrading all of these defenses is gonna take a while. I mean, it's gonna take a few months to get everything done, 
just because every upgrade requires so much time. Uh, 25 minutes a day plus a full boost if I want to get upgrades done every day. So it's definitely not easy and I feel like if you're a lower level, they just added maybe four, three, four months of upgrades into the game. So if we get a new Boom Beach update every half year, every six months, I don't know why my game keeps crashing. It has to be something new with this update. Yeah, you could fall behind very, very fast and not really make progress towards the end of the game. Granted, like you'll still make progress, you'll still see a ton of uh, new stuff, you'll still get new content, but you'll never reach that point where it's like, okay, I'm now maxed out in Boom Beach. I don't have to worry about anything. I mean, if you dedicate yourself, easy. You can easily do it. You get two builders, instant training, and a bunch of resource reward, it'll go by super fast. But if you don't have those, it definitely is going to be harder to try to get a maxed out account. But if you're already a maxed out player and an update drops, that's just new content for you. You get to enjoy it and uh, you can upgrade your base as you see fit. So I am stoked about this update. I think it brings so much new content, um, especially the four prototypes. It's gonna be huge. Really, this update is gonna change the top level meta drastically. And I've talked a little bit about it, but especially now, with the new prototype. We saw it when we just had, I'm gonna load up this, defeat this guy with his little shield generator. But what I was saying is the meta is gonna change drastically. And I was gonna say it was gonna change drastically when we got a new statue, but now that we got a whole new prototype, it's really gonna change because Prototypes are one of the worst defenses as a maxed out level. Or, I mean, when you're on the leaderboard, prototypes are the worst defense on a boost. And I would say that's the case for everyone, not just for certain bases. Like, prototypes are really dangerous. Obviously, like, a grappler isn't dangerous for you if you're using warriors. But all the top players are using pretty much the exact same combination, and that is the bombardiers riflemen or bombardiers and heavies some of them will still use like an rzcm combination but the majority of players are just rolling with the bombardier heavy or bombardier riflemen strategy so getting a new prototype for something that hurts that combination is going to change the game a lot and i'm very interested to see how the top meta changes over the next couple months if it's gonna be drastic, if it's gonna make a little bit of a change, but not much, or if it's just going to turn the leaderboard upside down. Who knows? Who knows what will happen, but I am here for it. And who knows, we might get HQ 26 soon. Probably not. But if we do, I really hope that it comes in multiple parts because from a content perspective, it's way better for it to come in multiple parts. It was way more fun to get a little bit, wait a month, get a little bit more, wait a month, and then get the last part. And this was the final part for HQ25. We're not gonna get a new HQ25 update after this. Okay, I believe that was my entire map, but Gearheart, I'm not gonna attack Gearheart today. Honestly, not as far as I wanted to get today. I really thought I would get more loot. We're not gonna be able to get a rocket launcher upgrade. We could do a shock launcher, but there's something way more important hiding behind these trees here, and it's this weapon lab. It's very long and expensive, but we'll get that going, and uh, let's figure out what we wanna do here. So, Scorcher's obviously the number one pick. Nine and a half million gold. Critters. 9.2 million gold. I, I think I'll probably just do Scorchers just because I want to do a maxed out Scorcher video and I think that'd be really fun. So I'm going to start those five days, a very long and expensive upgrade. But I hope you guys are enjoying this update and uh, let me know what you're upgrading first. As always, make sure you guys are using code COSMIC in the shop to help support us and I will see you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.